first of all, hello, lovely lot. I feel like today's club that we're testing has been sat around my bag for a while. I go in there like Andy's toys, they're dead excited that I'm going to pick it, but I never do. It's because it's a wedge. It's a very good wedge though. Yes, correct. We're back on the links, testing another Mizuno number in the shape of a T24 wedge. Previously, T22, full of knowledge. I am knowledge. So just before we jet off again, perfect timing. See it, jet. It's like production masterclass, isn't it? That's Rory, that is. We're back at my NI home at Hollywood to test the T24 in different scenarios in, a, I would say, moist conditions. Look at that. Isn't it wonderful? I love, and I mean, I say love a lot. This is a 10 out of 10 love. I, I, I don't want to get this dirty. It is stunning at the back. I'm so happy that they moved the lofts and bounce back up here. More of a traditional place rather than we didn't like it with the T22, and I think it was the S23, we won't even talk about that one. But it was here. But this is like, this really now blends in if you're gonna get an MB, something really smart. It kind of just, it just fits, you know? It's part of the family now, and that is, that is gorgeous. So our first shot into this green, I can raise the wind in too. I think we'll get there. I've got here in my hand, the white satin 5210 S grind. But this is where I feel the wedges definitely play different parts. It's almost been split with grooves in half. We've got the lower lofted, I think it's 46 to 52, have been optimised for a full swing, which is, which is what you tend to do with the lower lofts. And they've got 17 grooves, where that of the shorter stuff have been optimised more for a three quarter half partial swing length. And they have 15 grooves. So a lot of tech in different aspects of the game. It's not just like wedge, slap the grooves on mate, it'll be fine. Where's your flag cam now, mate? Oh, that's lit, that's delicious. Can you see it coming in? It's coming in, look. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see, I did that, mum. Can you see that? I might ring you, actually. And I think it's fair to say the only thing that Mizuno aren't overlooked on are irons. Wedges, drivers, balls, putters, definitely fall in that huge title of underrated. Now, the new T24 wedge, curves in all the right places, beautiful shaping, refined as well from the T22, remember, T22? So there are many things in the world that are obvious, one of those is James Robinson is a I said, I said nice person. Another thing that's very obvious is, of course, these are grain flow forged in Hiroshima, Japan. I have been. And with the T24, Mizuno say this ensures a precise shaping and unrivaled touch around the greens. That was lovely off the face. Slightly off the bottom, uh, bottom groover. Are we all right here? Have I been, have I, have I been traded? Look at that spin away. That was about three foot away and it's gone to about 30. Give it a bit more then. It's a lovely feel, it's a soft, it's hard to explain. Um, of course it's soft. That's more centre. Again, lovely flight. Yeah, the, the zippage is definitely there. <laughs> I'd have to club up and that, look at these two, we've just rolled all the way off the front. The second one hit there, span all the way back there. The third landed there, which is what you want to see in conditions like this. We produce some really big divots, which doesn't interfere with the ball and groove relationship. Now with weather conditions as they are, if you live this side of the planet, it's getting cold and it's getting very wet. So wedge grooves are vitally important. And with that in mind, with the T24, we've got the new quad cut plus grooves matched with that five different sole designs. So in a nutshell, with the new groove design, Mizuno have been able to push the grooves closer together to have a bit more of a spin impact in the new T24 wedges. Well, that stopped just left. I think that's just gonna be out of camera. 
not great, but very, very receptive on the green. Could be good. Oh yes, get that on your on your close up. See, I can even hit one in three. Two in three. Oh, oh that, that, that was a close first bounce, hard first bounce. But it just goes to show, these are coming in quite low with the wind behind. We're getting those revs going for sure. So yeah, that was the second one. That was the first just out of shot. And then the third one looked like it bounced close, but it obviously bounced past. What did I learn about those three? Um, yes, I still suck at short game. But absolutely no surprise whatsoever. The wedges feel absolutely class. Again, it's not found out anything new there. This is coming out of a Mizuno factory in Hiroshima. Um, kind of tells you everything you need to know, really. <laughs> I've just thought, this is great, like filming the flag and everything, but then I realized when you've got a terrible short game, the chances of you actually getting on camera is slim. That was one in three. So I'm just going to change it to panoramic mode on my phone to hopefully capture the ball landing somewhere in the vicinity. So the all important grind story, we've got the S, D, the C, the V, and the X. S profile, high bounce, limited relief for full shot. So you'll see that in the or majority of the lower lofts. And then the C profile sits right in the middle, suits an array of players and conditions. So dry, but also a day like today. So the D profile, Mizuno is saying this is mid profile with mid relief, allows you to then manipulate the face to produce a, a, an array of shots. And then for those guys that don't like too much bounce on a high lofted wedge, we've got the X grind. And then we've got the new kid on the block, which has been brought in with a bit of tour research. A lot of players liking more bounce. As we've always said, bounce is your friend. And the V profile features a high bounce with aggressive relief, but it's also versatile and suits that steeper attack angle as you do get in the wedges. Now, I put the camera down there near the pin, which is about as pointless as a chocolate fire guard. But I'm going in with the double denim, <laughs> the denim copper, sorry. So this is the 5810 V grind. Um, look at that pin position. I'll be good. I've just flown that over my camera. Now then, talk to us. Sure. <laughs> Look at that's finished. Third one for good luck. Yeah! <laughs> to be honest with you, all three were hit well. Did what I wanted it to do, it's just me. I'm just rubbish, simple. So in the bag today, we've got two finishes. We've got two different sides of the wedge spectrum with the Mizuno T24. <sighs> I just find that so, so beautiful. Like my wife, of course. It's, it's, as, it's not as beautiful. It's not as beautiful as the wife, but as, as far as the wedge is white satin so we've got this in the 5210 s grind and then i had to make sure i didn't leave the house wearing jeans because we would be double denim in again denim copper we first saw this finish with the t22 and it's great to see it back in the t24 but when i look at it from a distance i get a little wood effect <laughs> no 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 it looks like wood from a distance. <laughs> My least favorite shot is where it's falling away from you. So balls below feet, it's just knife city for me, especially me being so shallow. What's even funnier is, uh, well, pin cam is live. Hold that. What? Now I'm watching this. That's big. Sit, sit, sit. Wow. Can you see that for dispersion? I mean, one nearly in. The other two look better from back there. They've got a bit, a bit long. But in terms of accuracy, I'll take them. I think that's as good as anything Mizuno. 
I'll go as far as saying that. You know, you know how much I love the Mizuno irons. Those, those wedges are as good as. And yet, 90% of golfers are not going to pick them. And you've got to ask yourself why. Are those T24 wedges going to make everybody drop the Vokies? Performance-wise, I would love to see a test. From a excitement, historic point of view, I don't think Mizuno's have a chance. There's not a bad thing about this wedge. I think premium pricing, I'll put the prices down below, we're getting to that premium side with this sort of wedge, which I, I don't mind seeing when I know all the money has been put into the production and the actual manufacturing process, because that's what would have happened. These things aren't cheap to make, but you can tell when you hit one that it's not cheap. So guys, that was the T24 wedges. If you've got any questions, stick them down in the comment section below. If you're not a follower of the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, live streaming on Twitch. Bye.